Alright, today we'll be showing you how to go from Autodesk 3ds Max to Foveate. Let's check it out. So, here we're in 3ds Max 2025, and in newer versions of, of 3ds Max, they've added the GLTF exporter and GLTF materials uh, natively within Max. So let's just go to our material editor here, so you can see what that looks like. You can press M, or click the uh, material editor button up here at the top. Open that up, and as you can see, we do have this new shader called the GLTF Material. Now this is a PBR shader, so it uses metallic roughness channels. Now you can put textures or maps for each of these channels to make them more realistic, or set uh, specific float values for them. So everything in the scene needs to be a GLTF material uh, upon export, or else it's just going to come out black, and we don't want that. So this is what a GLTF material looks like. If you need to add one to your scene, go to Materials, General, GLTF Material. I'm going to delete this empty one. Uh, for older models, you will need to convert those materials, so you either do that manually, or uh, I believe there's uh, certain plugins that can do that for you. All right. And exporting models now from Max is really easy because of this new uh, real-time exporter. So go to File, Export, Real-Time Exporter. And then pick GLTF slash .glb from the top. Let's name our file here, Patio 3ds Max 2. And then you can click this button, uh, Export GLTF Binary .glb. And the reason why we do that is because it'll produce a smaller, smaller file size, and uh, it'll just be a one nice neat file that has all your textures and stuff packed in it. You can leave export uh, materials to just fake materials and hit export. We'll have a little uh, bar here on the bottom that shows you status. The nice thing about GL GLTF materials and GLTF is that they export very quickly. So now we can go back to Foveate here, press create new scene. Bam bam. Call this 3ds Max Patio. Now, getting models into here is really easy. Basically, we'll just find our our model here, our .glb, and drag and drop it in. It'll be will automatically recognize that this is a GLB file, and then apply optimizations and lossless compression to it. Here we have it. Beautiful. We can turn this grid off. Go to scene settings here, and now let's start turning this into something cool. Let's go to environment, change this to image sphere. And because this is supposed to be a patio scene, maybe we make this uh, something more of a beach day scenario, uh, outdoor. And then rotate the background, something that we like. I like this kind of lighting here. Can blur it out a bit. It's not quite as apparent. Um, post-processing, play around with some Bloom, AO, maybe some chromatic aberration, reduce the noise. All right, now we can go in, make some moments. Press the Add Moment button here. We'll call this Patio. Setting. That's moment one. And then you can look oop, look through the wall there. Make another moment here. Call this line placement. Maybe we want to change the FOV. Zoom out a little bit. Change how long it takes to get to this moment from the last one. Now we can just preview our moments here. Play. Nice. Now if we wanted to, we could also drag and drop in other files. Let's say uh, we want to put in another asset, another GLTF, or an FBX, we could do that. Point clouds, we could take in a, a video for example. That one's pretty cool. So let's go find a video real quick. If I can drop it in. We 
we have our video oops playing in the scene lock that And there you have it. Share this with our the public, maybe one of our teammates. So now they can see it. Or we can always invite someone via email.